Okay, so this is second go at trying to get Jan Ritter's Flame Liquor to work. What I can show you is I had to do is cut back the uh, side of the uh, alcohol burner and cut it down in height a, a bit in order to get the wick of the flame as close as I can to the flame port on the side. So I'm hoping that this gets me reasonably good performance. Uh, fill this sucker with some denatured alcohol that's been sitting around in the shop probably absorbing a lot of water uh, but we'll give it a give it a whirl here so get this adjusted give it a whirl be wanting to tick over now, just about. Let's see if I can get it a little bit closer there. Okay, I think I'm a little... Not quite sure what's going on now. Let's get it a little bit closer to the flame port. See if that helps. sucker to fire off. Oh, there we go. Alright, so it takes a bit of screwing around to get the flame adjustment just right. And even so, I think the wick that I'm using is just a twisted piece of cotton gauze. And as it burns, it actually changes the flame shape slightly. It gives me nothing but fit, so I need to run down to the hardware store and get some good cotton rope. $8 for 50 feet for some quarter inch uh, clothesline, <laughs> of which I'll use about an inch and a half. Oh, and you can see. Yeah, it seemed like it slid a little bit. I can see the, uh, the plate of the engine sliding around a little bit on our granite countertop here in the kitchen. The wife's gone, so uh, I'm getting away with this for now. But there you go. Uh, Jan Ritters uh, from the Netherlands posted this design on his website. And uh, this is a, a version of it made with... Uh, American sized inch bearings instead of metric. You can see it shifted again slightly and I'm readjusting. <laughs> Alright, I'm pretty pleased with that. I think I got a runner. Thanks everyone.